yeah, well, you know, we've been taking reports from the morning. Uh, the mood upbeat, anticipation, excitement reaching its crescendo. The josh is high and I'm sure the mood is very similar there in Srinagar as well, isn't it? Well, exactly. There's, uh, you know, a high enthusiasm among the students. In fact, this is a historical moment across the country and particularly uh, to the students. Right now, we are at the Army Public School here in the Srinagar. And these are the students. They are quite happy that uh, India is going to create a history. In fact, uh, the moon mission has gained in the pace all across. You can see uh, that these students have assembled at uh, the school and, in fact, cheering up for the safe landing of the Chandrayaan-3 uh, today, which is expected to take place at 6.4 in the evening so let's have a word with few of the, few of the students uh, how do you see the development how enthusiastic it how happy you are that india is going to create a history i feel really i feel really proud and a wave of uh, patriotism passes through me whenever someone mentions chandrayaan 3 and that that india is going to be the first country to land on the moon's south pole i am really excited to see the event live so what's your take on it See, the sun was never a limit for ISRO, and it has been proved again and again. And now Chandrayaan-3 is the new chapter in the India space odyssey. Chandrayaan-3, it has a mere budget of $74 million, and when we compare with Lula 25, that was also sent for the same objective, soft landing on the moon, it had $300 million. We can see the difference. India has done by one third of the um, money used in Ch uh, Luna 25. So this is what Desi Jugaat and I am as an Indian really proud of ISRO for doing this and as a science aspirant I am inspired by this event. So we have Amak. I still cannot believe that India is going to be one of the four nations to ever land on lunar soil. So I on behalf of 1.5 uh, billion Indians would like to exclaim to ISRO let's do it this time, let's land on um, near the south pole of moon this time because himmat kare insaan to kya ho nahi sakta. So himmat kare insaan to kya nahi ho sakta, what's your take on it? I'm very happy and I'm very excited at the fact that uh, ISRO is finally going to land on the lunar uh, south pole of the moon and can you, I think that Vikram Sarabhai, the father of the Indian space program will be looking upon us and he's going to be smiling and thinking about how far our country has reached in terms of this technology and I think that all Indians should be proud of this moment. The patriotism is running through my veins as well and I'm very happy to say that India is finally going to be able to do such historical things and I'm act very proud of this nation. So you heard these were the students from Absolutely, the Absolutely, uh, it's a very proud moment for the entire nation.